amiga. Hi guys, good evening, welcome. Hi Lisette, Kelia, hello Guillermo and, and Tati, good to see you. How was your day today, Lisette? What did you do? Are you there, Lisette? No. And you, Kelia, are you there? Do you hear me? Can you can you hear Hello. me? I, Hi. I went mm -hmm. I went at work. You went to work? Uh-huh. Yeah. Ah, okay. And yeah. I drove mm -hmm. my car in the morning and the afternoon. Ah, okay. That's that's good. And I like that you change the verbs to past tense. You remember, Kelia. That's cool. Okay. <laughs> Tati, do you have plans for tomorrow? Can you tell us one activity that you are going to do tomorrow? I will. Um... Something you are going to do tomorrow. Algo que hará mañana, Tati. Pero el sería el verbo con ing o como. Uh, I'm going to. I'm, I'm going. going to. Y el verb. I'm going, I'm going to work. Mm -hmm. You're going to work. Uh -huh. You can say that. Where did I call you? Ah, okay. And Saturday? No, it's off. Uh -huh. <laughs> ah, okay, congratulations. Okay. <laughs> Weekends off. Cool, that's a good schedule. Clean and, house and ah, activities at watch, home. Watch K drama. Ah, okay. <laughs> I see, Tati. And guys, remember the camera, please. Remember to, to activate the camera. Uh, Monica, you are driving, right? So it's it's okay, but please try to activate the, the cameras, guys, so we have a, a better class and I can see your mouth when you speak and I can check your pronunciation. So today we will continue practicing past tense. I have one, one activity here for us to practice. Questions, uh, different questions. We will start with Anna. Hi, Anna, good to see you. Can you ask Question number one to Catherine. Well, question number two. Okay, teacher, good night. Um, uh, the one where you here. try your this. Uh -huh, okay. That one. Uh, where did you try this morning? Tired. Thank you, Anna. Okay. Catherine, were you tired, exhausted? Mm, yes. Why? Yes, I, because I I have it a lot of work. Mm -hmm. Correct. Good answer, Catherine. Thank you. Now let's continue with Guillermo. Guillermo, question number three. And please ask Amanda. Okay, uh, Amanda, were you hungry this morning? Thank you. Are you there? Ah, the microphone, Amanda. Hello. Hello. <laughs> I, <laughs> excuse me, I, I'm okay. sick. Don't worry, I'm sorry to, to hear that. Your voice is, it sounds uh -huh, like if you were sick. Do you want to participate by chat? Prefiere el, el chat, Amanda, o si quiere hablar? No sé uh, si por le el chat, no. chat. Por el okay. chat, es que estoy afónica. Mm -hmm. Yes, okay. Ahí vamos a, a hacerlo. Send us the answer. If you are hungry, if you were hungry this morning, and why or why not? 
Okay, let's continue. Now we will listen to Kelly. Are you there, Kelly? Do you hear? Yes. Me? Hi, Kelly. Can you ask question number four to Wendy? Were you born in another city? Uh huh. Or maybe the next one, because we don't know the city. So maybe this one, uh, Kelly. Okay. Where were you at seven o'clock last night? Okay, thank you. Wendy? Okay, is where the second, where were city? Yes. Uh, the answer, you mean? El responder. Mm, okay. Oh. Uh -huh. Do you understand yeah. the question, Wendy? No, I don't question? understand. Okay, no. a, a good student in primary school, in primaria, elementary school. Were you a good student? Uh, okay. Don't yes, I, I were a good student. <laughs> ah, okay. Uh -huh. Thank you, Kelly and, and Wendy. Now, okay. let me check here. Eric, please ask question, the question color to uh, Hazel, please. Where, where were you at uh, seven o'clock this morning? Thank you. Sorry. <laughs> no problem. I was in my office. Correct. Thank you, Hazel. Good answer. Thank you, guys. We will continue, and I'm going to share with you a document. I'm going to share with you one document, and we will go over here. Okay. So we have Jack and Julie, please listen to me and then it will be your turn to practice pronunciation. Okay, Jack. Hi, Julie, this is Jack. How are things going at work? Hello, Jack, everything is fine, thanks. How about you? Just perfect. Look, I want to know if you attended a training last year, we are sending the invitations for the new one, for the new one. Yes, I did. The training I attended was about first aid and prevention. Sounds good. Where did it take place? Okay, here, it was held at the Crown Plaza Hotel. Do you recommend it? I mean, the training. Did you find it helpful? Yes, absolutely. Absolutely. Most of us were pleased with the speakers and practices. I personally learned a lot. Okay, now it's your turn. We are going to start with Anna and Tatiana. Anna, you are Jack and Tati, you are Julie. Ready, Anna? Okay, yes. Okay. Hi, Julie. This is Jack. How are things going at work? Hello, Jack. Everything is fine. Thanks. How about you? Just perfect. Look, I want to know if you attended a training last year. We are we are sending the invitations for the new one. Yes, I did. The training I attended was about. Eight. 
eight and prevention. Sounds good. Where did that take place? It was held at the Crown Plus Hotel. Do you recommend it? I mean the training. Did you find it helpful? Yes. Absolutely. Most, most of all were placed with the speaker and practice. I personally learn a lot. Discuss the following. That's that's not part of the dialogue, but thank you, Anna and Tati. Good pronunciation. I'm going to help you with just uh, three words. Okay, so Anna and Tati, please repeat after me. Please. Okay. Please. Let's see, Tati. Uh huh. Anna. Please. 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 It sounds like a T. Hay como una T al final, aunque no se mira. Okay, please. Okay. Please. Please. Yes. Personally. Personally. Mm -hmm. Personally. Yes. And learn. 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 Excellent. Thank you. Now we will continue with Eric and Angelica. Okay, Eric, you are Jack, Angelica, Julie. Okay. Hi, Julie. This is Jack. How are things going at work? Hello, Jack. Everything is fine. Thanks. How about you? You's perfect. Look, I want to know if you attended a training last year. We are sending the invitation for the new one. Yes, I did. The training I attended was about first aid and prevention. Sounds good. I'm sorry. We are here. <laughs> Sounds good. good. Where did that where did it take place? It was held at the Crown Plaza Hotel. Do you recommend it? I mean the training. Did you find it helpful? Yes, absolutely. Most of us were pleased with the speakers and practice. I personally learned a lot. Thank you. Thank you very much for uh, reading that. I'm going to help you with the pronunciation of two words. Number one, find. Can you repeat, uh, uh, guys? Angelica? Find. 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 Uh -huh. find. Okay, this one is plural, that one is practices. Practices. Mm -hmm. Practices. Perfect. Yeah, practice one and practices two or more, mm -hmm. the plural form. Okay, so thank you. Thank you. Okay. And now, Catherine and Guillermo. Yes, Catherine and Guillermo. Catherine, you are Jack. Guillermo, Julie. Okay. Okay. Hi, Julie. This is Jeff. How are these going at work? Hello, Jeff. Everything is fine. Thanks. How about you? Just perfect. Look, I want to know if you attended a tri training last year. We are sending the invitation for the new one. Yes, I did. The training I attend was about first aid and prevention. So it's good. Sounds good. Where did this take place? It's what held at the Crown Plaza Hotel. Do you recommend it? I mean, the training, uh, did you find, find it helpful? Yes, absolutely. Most of us were placed with the speakers in practice. I personally learned a lot. 
Okay, excellent, guys. Yeah. Good pronunciation. Thank you, Catherine and, and Guillermo. Guys, is there mm -hmm. something I could help you with? Do you need help with vocabulary? Do you know the word first aid? First aid? It's first aid kit. Do you know what it means? Primeros auxilios. Excellent. Uh -huh. That is what it means. Primeros auxilios. Something else? Do you understand this question? Where did it take place? Questions no. about the vocabulary. Where did it take place? Es como donde tomó lugar. Como donde, where was it? Donde fue? That is the, the question. Mm -hmm. Okay. Anything Teacher, else? Teacher, what yes? is the meaning of held? Held. That's a verb. Es un verbo que está en past tense. The present form is hold. Um, where is it? Donde está? Para que le diga el context. De que, ah, acá. It was held. Eh, quiere decir que se llevó a cabo. At okay. the Crown Plaza okay. Hotel. Thank you. You're welcome. More questions? And helpful? No. And helpful? Helpful. Um, it's like, es un adjective que viene de help. Es de esa familia, como alguien que es de mucha ayuda. Pero para una persona. Helpful. You are very helpful. Thank you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay, you're welcome. Now we will ask one question to Mario and Oscar. Okay, Mario and Oscar, question number one. What type of training did Julie attend? Uh, first aid and prevention. Okay, thank you, Mario. And you, Oscar, do you have the same opinion or different opinion, Oscar? I'm sorry, teacher. I I wasn't there the, oh, the okay. previous class, and I just connected now, and I I try <laughs> okay. to understand. Don't it. worry, that's fine. Marlon, what about you? What type of training did Julie attend? Do you have an idea, Marlon? Maybe he's not there. Mm, Hello, good evening. Hi, good evening, Martin. Hi. Do you uh, have a, an idea? Fears and prevention, no. Mm -hmm. That's the one. So he attended, and then we mentioned, right? He attended. Okay. He a, attended a she, first aid. She and prevention. She attended. Sorry. Mm -hmm. She attended first first aid and prevention training. Mm -hmm. That's one way you can say it. Okay. Thank you, Marlon and Mario. Now let's continue with Fatima. Hello, Fatima. Can you help us with question number two? Did she find the training of great help? We will listen to you and Wendy. Question number two. Sorry, teacher, no, no estuve en toda la conversación. Ah, okay, all right, no problem. And Wendy, can you help us with um, the answer? Yes. She, yes, actually, most of you were. So you said yes. Yes. Okay. So, yes. and the conversation, she okay. yeah, absolutely. Okay, Wendy, thank you. Amanda, can you send us a message? Do you have the same opinion, Amanda? Send us the, the answer by chat, please. And then we, we will continue. 
And Wendy, do you remember the short answer? ¿Se recuerda cómo hacer una respuesta corta? Sometimes I, I, I forgot this. You, you forgot. Part. Ah, okay. Yes. Ahí la envió Amanda. Podríamos ponerlo así. Yes, she did. And that's, that's it. Solo el subject y did. Okay, thank you. Today we are going to study how to use the verb be in past tense. Okay, the, the class is about past tense, but it's about the verb be okay, in the past. I'm going to share with you this, and if you have questions, you can let me know. Verb be in the past. The verb be has two forms, right? El verb to be tiene dos formas en pasado. Do you remember those forms, Hazel? ¿Se recuerda de las dos formas del verb be? Was and were. Was and were. Thank you. Was and where. Now let's see. Hazel, can you mention all the subjects we have? Yes. Yes, sería I was. Uh -huh. You were. You were. She was. Mm -hmm. He was. Yes. We was. We were. Ah, sorry. It's we okay. were. Mm -hmm. Okay. They were. They were. Uh -huh. And it we're was. One. Uh -huh, and it. Es, pensé que se le había olvidado, but yes, it was. Excellent. Thank you, Hazel. So remember that was is for singular nouns, okay? Si lo quieren dividir y ponerlo más simple, was es para singular nouns, okay? All singular nouns. Y where, the opposite, where is for plural nouns, okay? Hay dos formas, depende del subject, you can use was or where, okay? It depends on the subject. To make it negative, si lo quieren hacer negativo, solo incluyen la palabra not, right? I was not, you were not, she was not, he was not, it was not, we were not, they were not. Están las contractions que podrían utilizar, wasn't, and weren't, wasn't, weren't, okay? You can use them if you wish. I wasn't, you weren't, okay, etc. Okay, so we will talk about the use, okay? The use of uh, the verb be in the past. Does anybody remember? No sé si hay alguien que se recuerde algunos usos del verb be in past tense. This is a special verb. Do you have some ideas? No. Okay. Uh, yes, tell me. Ana? Uh, for example, we talking about the, uh, our child. Uh -huh. When you say what specifically, Anna? When you talk about your child, how? Uh, for, uh, for example, when I was a child. Uh -huh. I don't know. Yes. Uh -huh. Yes, I, I understand your point. Thank you, Anna. I'm going to add the information here. So, number one, in simple words, we use the verb be for descriptions okay descriptions si quieren describir algo we use the verb be. he was y lo describo he was fat okay or the car or the cars plural were 
blue, okay? Descriptions we use. The verb, if you want to describe. I was, and then you mention the description. I was mm, thin, okay? Etc. So this is one, one way of using it. Descriptions. Number two, age, okay? Remember age, edad. No, no es verdad, I have, porque sabemos que en, en español usamos el verbo tener, I have. In English, we use the verb, I was, and then you mention your age. I was 27 years old last year, as an example, okay? What was your age, um, Eric, last year? Two years ago, what was your age? I was 31 years old. Thank you, so Eric was 31. Y por cierto, pueden ponerlo así también. Eric was 31, and that's it. Or 20, 31 years old. That's the other option. In the negative form, I was not, or I wasn't, 25 last year, okay? For age, we use past tense. I'm going to continue here. Use number three. Use the verb be with locations. Locations, okay? Ubicaciones, locations. Si quieren decir donde está algo, we use the verb be. For example, my dad is, I'm sorry, was in past tense outside my house yesterday, okay? Locations. The dog was in the room. Again, that's the location. Yesterday, or well, two days ago, We were at home, okay? Locations, we use the verb be. Next point. We will use it with temperature, okay? Reactions to temperature. Reactions to Temperature, okay, como reaccionan a la temperatura? We use past, I'm sorry, the verb be. It was very cold last night, okay? The kid, let's choose a name. Jose was hot. He was hot, okay? That's the one we use. Questions so far? No sé si quieren preguntar algo por ahora. Alguna duda que tengan? No? No questions. Okay, so reactions to temperatures, we use the, the verb. And the next one will be for Emotional states, emotional states. Okay, the estados mentales o condiciones emocionales, okay? Emotional states, okay. Aquí voy a hacer énfasis en esta parte para comentarles unos common mistakes para que no los cometan. For example, we have the verb, esos son emotional states. Hungry, afraid, afraid is 
miedo, temeroso, afraid, or scared, eh, cold, that could be one, angry, okay, the molesto, enojado, thirsty, thirsty, de sediento, okay, son emotional states, pero en español, again, en español utilizamos el verbo tener, ¿verdad? Como yo tengo hambre o yo tengo miedo. In English, it's not like that. En, en inglés no se usa ese verbo, sino que se usa el verbi. Y lo, con, lo van a conjugar en past tense. I was hungry last night. Okay? So I just wanted to emphasize that. Solo quería... Hacerles el énfasis que vamos a usar el verb be para esos emotional states. My, my dog was afraid of fireworks. Okay, los, los juguetes. My dog was afraid of fireworks on December 24th. Okay, on, on Christmas, my dog was afraid. I, uh, let's see, Anna wasn't thirsty. Okay, so those are some options. Okay, aquí tienen algunos de los usos. Some of the uses of the verb be in past tense. Just, Just to, to emphasize that, remember there are two options. Recuerden que hay dos opciones. Depende de su subject, van a escoger el que, el que es adecuado. Okay. Ah, y algo más. Sometimes, a veces se, se confunde uno con did, ¿verdad? El que vimos ayer y con el verb be. Did lo van a utilizar con past activities. Okay. Ese va con activities. Lo usamos con actions. Si hay verbos, run, play, jump, vamos a usar did. I ran yesterday. Okay? Ahí usamos el que vimos ayer, simple past. Pero si estamos hablando de un location, if it's description, si es todo eso, entonces ahí sí va el verb be. No he puesto ningún verbo, a excepción del verb be. That's the only one I have. Okay? Entonces, asegúrense de no combinarlo. Was y un verbo. No va con un verbo. Va con una location, va con un adjective, pero no va con, un, con una activity. Si lo ponen así, eso ya es past continuous, pero ahí nos estamos metiendo ya en otra cosa. Y el verbo va con ing, en Things change. Okay, so just that. Um, questions? Do you want to ask a question right now? Before we continue? Comments? No. Okay, the last part para que ya podamos empezar a practicar. Questions, okay, the, the question form. In past tense, questions with the verb. Questions with verb B. That is the only thing. Okay, can you can you think about some sentences? Can you think about one example using the verb B, please? Before we continue, can you think about one idea about anything about you about a family member? And send it in the chat. Un ejemplo que esté afirmativo o negativo en el chat, please. Before we continue. Remember the uses. Recuerden los usos para que puedan crear su sentence. Description, your age, locations, temperatures, 
My mom was sick. Uh -huh. And remember to use the correct form of the verb be, was, or were. Thank you, Angelica. I'm going to add some sentences here. My son was sad. Thank you, Lisette. Correct, Amanda. Amanda, <laughs> sorry. Uh, my son was sad. Okay. My daughter, my daughter was at the park. Was at the park. Correct, Mario, thank you. Uh -huh. My son, Mario, Ayiria was, because it's only one kid. Entonces tendríamos que poner el, el was. And my daughter was at the park. I was at the cinema. Thank you, Fatima. Yes, Wendy. Hazel, uh, you were, sería, you were in that case. Ricardo and Joan were hungry. Yes, thank you, Anna. Haiti, correct. Tati, uh -huh. she was hungry. Thank you, Monica. She was at work. Okay, so perfect. I'm just going to copy some. She was happy. If you want to create a question, you just have to exchange The subject and the verb be. Si quieren hacer una pregunta, solo van a cambiar la posición. Del verb be y su subject. My son was sad. Question. Tenemos primero el verb be y luego el subject. Was my son sad? Short answer, yes. He was. Or no. He wasn't, okay? Number two, my daughter was at the park. At the park. And we do the same, okay? Seguimos el mismo patrón. We change the subject and the verb be. Was she, voy a usar el subject. Si no pueden poner my daughter, that's okay. Was she at the park? And the answer, yes, she was, or yes, she was at the park. She was happy. And you do the same, you change the position of the subject and the verb be. Was she happy? No, she wasn't, okay? That is what you have to do. No, she wasn't. I don't know if you remember the first activity. No sé si se recuerda en la primera activity de, de la clase. No, this is not the one. Uh, this one, okay? You can observe the structure. Aquí pueden observar, ¿verdad? Las preguntas y la estructura, okay? The same way. Si quieren agregar WH questions, solo lo ponen al principio. Where were you one hour ago? What was your favorite TV show? Were you busy yesterday? Okay, so those are some, some ideas. Aquí tienen otras ideas. Okay, so that's the grammar. ¿verdad? Eso sería la gramática y ahora pues vamos a practicar. And Guillermo, uh -huh, the question is, is correct. I sent a document by WhatsApp. Les envié un documento en, en WhatsApp. Please open it. Open the document. I'm going to share it with you here. We are going to work in pairs. And you have to follow the indications. Vamos a trabajar en parejas y, y van a, a completar. You're going to fill in the plans. 
Van a usar was or were. Eso es lo que falta en el primero. You have to complete the question. For example, what do you think, Lisette? ¿Qué cree que falta aquí? Was or were, Lisette? What is your opinion? How old are you there, Lisette? No. Was, teacher. Ajá, uh -huh. was. Okay. So evaluate. Thank you. Thank you, Lisette. Evaluate the idea and use the correct form. Okay. Uh, questions before I, I let you go to that room? Do you have any questions? No. Okay. So just no give me one second and I'm going to create the, the rooms. Um, you can accept the invite. Hi guys, hi Monica, hi Wendy. Monica, hi. you can participate. Lo logra ver, sí, verdad? Ya, ya no está manejando, Monica. Monica. Hola. Hi, ya no está manejando. Sí, en eso está. Ah, no, si ya no está driving, manejando, puede... No, no, yo no estaba manejando. No estaba manejando. Ah, ok. Y yo por eso no le hablaba, porque pensé que estaba manejando y pensé que la había visto manejando. Ah, ok, sorry. No. Ah, ok. So, I don't know what okay. happened. Is there something I could help you with, Wendy or Monica? No sé si hay algo que no les haya quedado claro. No, yo digo que este, ahorita vamos entendiendo. Sí. Gracias. Gracias. Ok, ok. I'm going to, uh, well, we will meet each other in a moment. See you. Delante. Sí. Hi, guys. Do you need help? Do you have questions? Eh, sí, en la literal A eh, sería oh, what was which are last year? And was he 10 or 11? Ajá, uh -huh, because there is a question mark. Ajá, uh -huh, it's a question. Was All of them. Is there something that was not clear? No sé si algo de la gramática no quedó clara y necesitan un reinforcement. Eric, Marlon, Amanda. No. no. Uh, yes, Eric. Um, yes. Or Marlon. Uh, yes. Um, mm -hmm. use, use was um, when, when uh, the I, you, um, uh, singular nouns. I, singular nouns. Uh -huh. I, he, she, it. O sus equivalentes. Amanda, ¿verdad? Equival equivaldría a she, ¿verdad? Entonces sí. ya es was. Okay, where, where is an... Um, um, you? Plural. Uh -huh. 
You, we, they. They. It is was. Yes. Okay. Thank you. All right, guys. You're welcome. Marlon, did you have a comment? No, teacher. No. Okay. I'm going to no. let you continue. See you in a moment. Bye. Hi, Hazel. Hi, Anna. Is there something Hi, I can teacher. help you with? Do you have questions? Uh, no. Uh, 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 first and second part. They complete. Or only the first part? Both. One and two. Okay. Part one and part two. Which one are you doing right now? Part one or part two? Uh, I finish the and one and two. Okay, that's fast. Okay, and you, Hazel, how are you doing? Which one are you doing? Yes, part two, uh, almost complete. Almost complete. Okay, in about two minutes, Anna, we will return. Okay, I'm just going to visit your classmates because I don't think all of them have finished. So let me check with them and in about two minutes, we will return to check. To okay. Check the answers. Okay, goodbye. Wait, well, see. Bye, hello. Bye. When yes, and first, bye. <laughs> Hi, Oscar. Hi, Heidi. How are you doing? <laughs> nice, <Yeah. teacher. laughs> No, no me deja pasar desapercibida el, el sonido. <laughs> so how are you doing? Do you need help? Do you have questions? <laughs> no. Y Oscar, <laughs> porque apagó <laughs> la cámara, ya no me dejó verlo. Solo un segundo lo vi. Qué barbaridad. <laughs> No, I can say, I can say, I can Hello, teacher. Lo que sucede es que uso un, un, el, 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 el de trabajo. Ajá, entonces, de repente, por eso que lo quito. Ah, ok. Sí, Oscar, me estaba comentando que no se había podido conectar, ¿verdad? Ya logró sí. como agarrar la idea. Es correcto. De hecho, eso estaba platicando con Heidi, que, que me estaba, pues, actualizando un poco sobre que es lo que hemos estado viendo en clases anteriores y, y recordando sobre el, el uso de los, de, de la, del was, were, de acuerdo al, al pronombre, ¿verdad? Eh, o al, 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 su, al sujeto, ¿eh? En, y, uh, they is were, y los otros, I is was, eh, he, she was, y it is was, ¿verdad? Ajá, todos los, los singular. Uh -huh. Singular, sí, plural es, es este, Where? word. Where? Justamente eso estábamos recordando porque son cosas que de verdad que se olvidan, no es que no se sepan, ¿verdad? pero uh -huh. eso estaba como tratando de recordar y es lo que está platicando con Heidi en su momento, perdón. Erika. No, no, it's ok, no y nada, de hecho solo vi de repente que ya no se veía usted y solo eso. Así que no, y que, que hablaba. No, pero era por eso, porque este, es un, un Zoom que utilizo de it's trabajo. Okay. ¿no? We will return to the main session. Vamos a regresar por motivos de tiempo. Y si no terminaron, ahí vamos a, a terminar juntos. Ok. Y aclaramos thank cualquier you. duda de una vez. Ok. Thank you, thank see you. you. Hi, guys. We're going to check the answers. Ok. We will check the answers that you got. And if you have any questions, you, you can ask, okay? So we will start with, let me check the, the rooms. Okay, Mario, you were working with Guillermo. So Mario and Guillermo, number two, which one did you use, was or were? Was. Was, okay, can you read was, the was. full sentence, Mario? The, the question, please. When was uh, Susan's baby born? Thank you. Uh -huh. Susan's baby. So only one. So we use was. 
Thank you. Now we continue with group number six, Angelica and Tati. Number, well, letter C. What season? Where they born. Where they Where? born. Yes, that's the one. Thank you. Now we continue with Eric, Amanda, and Marlon. Eric, can you help us? Letter D. For Marlon. Letter D. They. They weren't born in spring, I am sure. Perfect. That's the one they weren't. Now, Catherine and Lisette. Letter E. Wasn't. Uncle Tom. Wasn't. Uh -huh, yes. At home. Okay, thank you. Now let's continue with Heidi and Oscar. Do you have letter F? Bob? Okay. Bob was at the beach with his friends. They mm -hmm. were all very happy. Perfect. Thank you. Now let's continue with Monica and Wendy. Letter G. Where? Where was you at 11 o'clock? Uh, okay, thank you. In this case, it will be where? Because it's you. Es el sujeto you. Así que vamos a utilizar where. Ah, okay. okay. Where. But thank you. Okay, questions about part one? ¿Alguna duda? About part one? Guillermo? Or Monica? No. No. And you, Monica? No. no. Okay. Part number no. two. Let's continue with part number two. Let's listen to Anna and Hazel. Anna, what do you have? And then we listen to Hazel. Uh, where? Where was, where was Shirley last Saturday? Thank you, Anna. She and, was. And you? Uh huh. Sorry. She yes. was at the stadium. Ah, okay. Thank you. That's she was. Uh huh. Because it's a uh, singular noun. Thank you. Now let's continue with Catherine and Lisette. Letter A. Letter A. The second. A. Where you there too? Thank you. Uh huh. Angelica and Tatiana. What's next? No, I. I wasn't. No, I wasn't. Thank you. Guillermo and Mario. What's the next? Answer. My brothers and sisters and I were at the exhibition. Were correct. Thank you. Podría haber puesto algunos was por el I, verdad? Pero es un sujeto compuesto, por decirlo así. We have brothers, sisters, and I. So were. Thank you, Heidi and Oscar. By the way, where do you have that one, Heidi or Oscar? No. Okay, or we can listen to where. Uh huh. Where, where? Where, where? Uh huh. Thank you, Heidi. Now, Eric and Marlon, letter B. I don't know where my brother Jim, Eric, or, uh -huh. I don't hear you, Eric. No sé si tiene problemas su audio, but I cannot hear you. Lisette, do you want to help us? Was. Uh -huh. Thank you. I don't know where my brother Jim, was. That's the one. Thank you, Lisette. 
Then okay. Monica or Wendy. He. He was at home with me, Pau, the other were. He was. Was. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. And is there anyone who has a, something different? No sé si alguien tiene algo distinto. He wasn't. Aha, uh -huh. that would be the best, the best option. Thank you, Hazel. He wasn't at home, but the others were. Hmm? Thank you. An excellent job. You, you chose the right options. Again, do you have doubts? Hay alguna duda? Do you have doubts? Comments? No? No comments? No questions? Okay, good. So, guys, eh, ahí les envío un mensaje. No sé si todos tuvieron ahí el chance de leerlo de la plataforma. Eh, hablé con mi coordinador y me menciona que está bien, ¿verdad? Si, la, si no la pueden terminar ahora, si pueden, pues perfecto, ¿verdad? Si pueden terminar ahora section one and two. Si no, lo pueden hacer en el transcurso de, de los siguientes días del fin de semana. Ok. And it would be ok. No sé si tienen alguna duda o comentario con respecto a la plataforma. Mario. Ajá. Tal vez una consulta. En Ajá. el ejercicio 1, en la actual, eh, daba un error que, que luego hay otros compañeros que hicieron en el chat la respuesta correcta. Pero al colocarla, daba creíamos que estaba colocando correcto, pero daba error, y eso restaba puntos, ¿eso se va a arreglar o así queda? ¿Cuál, cuál de todos, Oscar? En, en la 1, este, uy. Porque me enviaron bien. uno, pero no sé si es el que, el que Ana envió después. No sé si es ese. Sí, o sea, se lo voy a lo voy a tomar el screenshot y se lo envío, porque había Ajá. una que, que alguien, un compañero ahí lo puso, que dijo, puso la, la respuesta correcta, que había mencionado de que al contestarla, según lo, lo comprendido, daba error y lo daba como, como con incongruente. No recuerdo cuál era. Creo que es la, que la del audio. Que era en mayúscula, que en minúscula no la aceptaba. Creo que esa es. Que daba error si lo, si lo digitaba en minúscula, si al eh, digitarlo en mayúsculas le daba paso. Ah, ok. Si quieren, envíelo ahí al chat, al grupal, y ahí que lo vean sus compañeros para ver si es el mismo es que lo, del que se está hablando. Perfecto, yo ahí lo voy a poner. Solo era un comentario, pero sí había algo que, Ajá, que yo no, vi en que este los otros caso, compañeros lo, lo resolvieron y, 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 y sí daba paso normal, pero ahí lo coloco, si gusta. Gracias. Ajá, y cuando hay error, ¿verdad? Que no, es, es, no está en sus manos, pues sí se los arreglamos nosotros, ¿verdad? Cuando hay un tipo de error técnico en, en las respuestas. Perfecto, okay. gracias. All right. Do you have any other questions before we go? Questions, comments? No, no questions. No, teacher. Okay. All right, guys. Well, today is the last day of the week, right? We have vacations and we continue on Monday. So, guys, take care. Enjoy the weekend and see you on Monday. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye, teacher. 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 Bye, teacher.